were written for a Kearney Street Workshop Poetry Brunch, and flowers were on the menu, and I took that as a prompt. Three-point instruction for training the mind. When we're told to stop and smell the flowers, is it most important to stop or to smell, or are the flowers our prime demand? I'd say that none is complete without the others, the three a holy trinity, their union a transcendence of time. After all, we don't say, stop and scroll the news feed. A posted pic of roses by any other name would never smell as sweet. We don't say, stop and check your email. That doesn't even count as stopping. It doesn't work to stop and tweet your poses. Your selfies, I'm sorry to say, are more thorns than roses. No, these five words are like Moses leading you to a different shore. They pry the clock's grasping hands loose of restless tick-tock flow. Stop and smell the flowers. Notice these beings so unlike you, each one a question from the earth, an answer from the sun. Perhaps not so unlike you after all. Our most important task is to attend our reunion, to stop, smell, and flower.